welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're again in my bedroom where we're going to be painting my dresser. I've already started working on it just you know seeing how the paint was going on it so I'm going to take you through the process on you know maybe one or two drawer fronts and then I'll spare you the rest and just show it to you when it's done. We're also going to hang the curtains today. They are currently drying because I washed them once and I decided to do it a second time um, and use a little bit of soap in it. Last time I just used bleach but this time I'm using soap as well because it, just to give them a fresher cleaner scent. <laughs> so let's get started on this bed. So this piece that I'm working on right now belonged to my mother. Um, I would imagine they bought this um, back in the early to mid 60s when my mother and father got married. I don't know. But I just take these handles off every time and paint the piece however I want to. Anyway. So I had these and I painted them with construction grade spray paint 20 years ago and now I just come through with some black flat matte chalk paint and just touch up here and there. They've held up really well and it's funny because I've looked for that spray paint again and I can't find it. But anyway. So let me first fix this little a boo boo. Okay, I'm going to go over this front with a second coat. So I'm going to allow that to dry while I paint these others and then I'm going to go through and uh, put the polycrylic on there to protect it. It's a pretty color. But I need to take these off first. Normal people get all the clothes out of their drawers and then pull them out and paint them. Heh. Tells you how normal I am. Very low on patience. Alright, so I'm just going to keep on doing that to each of the drawer fronts and then, um, you know, just keep going until it's done and I'll be back when we're at the end. Okay, everyone, here we are a few days later. Um, I've pretty much completed the dresser. I need to do another coat on the top and do the polyurethane on that. I moved the sound bar up behind the TV um, and put this picture here to kind of hide the cords because that's just something that bugs me. But um, the reason why I haven't completely finished this is because, well, 
I got a little sidetracked, have not done the curtains, haven't done anything. You want to see what I've been doing? Okay. All right, so I'm just going to say my room is a wreck. I have a little pile of clothes over there I've got to take care of, but I figure we'll get our daily dose of the children playing. You cannot have my shoe, sir. Anyway, um, I found this piece at Michael's. I had a 40% off coupon for one regularly priced item. And I went to the store and just kind of looked around and said, Oh yeah, they've got Fallout. Really excited to start looking at what stores are going to bring out for fall. This was a fall item. It's just a little um, ladder with removable baskets and the great thing is it hangs on the wall it was originally i think thirty dollars i paid 18 for it which is still a bit ridiculous but the moment i saw it i said that's it that one piece told me what i was going to do in the bathroom because as i've been doing my bedroom i've been thinking okay what do I want to do in the bathroom? Do I want to carry the ferns in there? Do I want to mix up the color? Do I want to bring the dark gray in there? What do I want to do? Well, uh, after I found that, there was a Bed Bath & Beyond right near there. So, I found two of these. They were really just this tan color. I went in and added some green which I'm not sure that I really like. Um, but I got those and I got a matching tan uh, fern type of shower curtain. So I decided my window panes and these guys are going to go in on the wall in the bathroom. Not exactly sure where he's going to go. But let's see what we've got. And it's a mess again because I make a huge mess when I'm cleaning, decorating, painting, doing anything. So that's the color that I chose. And I haven't finished it because I have to get my tall ladder in here. Oh, yes, you notice. The, um towel bar. I took that down, patched those holes, painted over it. It just was dumb that the towel bar is here and the shower is all the way over there. So anyway, here is the shower curtain. So I have gone through and, you know, painted two coats of this green on the walls up to a certain point I tore down all of the shelving and stuff that was in this nook and I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do so I made some templates with poster board and I'm just going to go find some thin board and do it right and uh, then add shelves again to it. And then eventually I'm going to just take it all down and probably either seal up the hole in the wall or get another medicine cabinet. I don't know. So this is where the large mirror was. And I took it down and I put up Dollar Tree contact paper on this wall and it stayed up for you know at least a year and so now I've started pulling it down and I'm trying to decide if I should do this wall in this green or if I should do that gray 
that I have on the wall in the bedroom and on these cabinets and bring it up, which I think I might do, just to have a pop of different color. But then, I don't know, we got the black that, what does that go with? Nothing? So I might have to repaint that. Who knows? Anyway, so that's what we have, and I haven't decided if I'm going to hang the ladder here in between the two mirrors, if I will hang it here, or if I will hang it over here. But I think what I want to do is hang it over here so that I can put uh, towels, hand towels, and different little things in it. I originally had these two wicker baskets on either end of my counter, which I would like to only have one or something. But if I put my shelves back, maybe I can use those. I don't know, see, I'm just not there yet. So, when I finish painting this room and hanging all of the decor and doing all of that, we'll get a tour of it. But yeah, it's... I used something other than Sherwin-Williams and I could definitely tell a difference. It was... it drips easier. It uh, takes a bit longer to dry. I did use... Um, semi-gloss and that's the first time I've used semi-gloss in this house so maybe that's just how a semi-gloss acts I don't know but this stuff is thin as water and I'm used to very thick and creamy Sherwin-Williams paints so this one um, is just a Walmart it was half the half the price of a Sherwin-Williams which I need it because I've spent so much money on these two rooms that it's ridiculous and I'm running out. The well's running dry, so yeah. But that's the color. It's called, um, I'll have to go find the chip for it. Okay, so here it is. It's called Expedition. Um, and it's the Walmart brand. Yep, but that's it. Expedition. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go and clean my room and my bathroom and my house and the things that have been neglected. And I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful week coming up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Have a great evening.